Right now, Virgin Galactic's first space flight with paying passengers is underway. This is a look at the launch. Just moments ago, the VSS Unity rocket launched from the New Mexico spaceport with three passengers on board, plus a flight crew. You took part in the most recent mission to the International Space Station, have splashed down safely off the coast of Florida. In over two decades of continuous operation, the orbital platform has housed hundreds of spacefarers from many nations. Remember the days when space exploration was a VIP club reserved for superpowers? Well, those days are gone. The past few years marked a revolutionary leap for the space economy as the long-envisioned concept of space tourism finally materialized. What once felt like an unattainable dream became a reality thanks to the efforts of companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Virgin Galactic. In 2021, these pioneers successfully executed their inaugural missions focused on space tourism. The surge in successful commercial space launches throughout 2021 triggered a cascade of announcements about upcoming space travel ventures. The number of private citizens venturing beyond Earth's atmosphere soared in 2022, unmistakably signaling the arrival of space tourism as an attainable experience. But what exactly is space tourism? It's simply the act of traveling to space for leisure and recreation. Well, it might seem like a recent concept, the roots of space tourism trace back to 2001 when Dennis Tito, the inaugural space tourist, paid $20 million for a journey to the International Space Station aboard the Russian Soyuz spacecraft. Among the approximately 600 individuals who have voyaged into space, only a fraction were space tourists, venturing for leisure rather than scientific exploration. Between 2001 and 2009, eight space tourists orbited Earth, utilizing government rockets and space stations for their journeys. Notably, SpaceX's 2021 mission marked the first all-private orbital trip, where the crew even crafted their itinerary. The soaring interest in space tourism has spurred numerous companies to delve into research, design, and spacecraft testing, all aimed at enabling routine tourist trips to space. Leaders like SpaceX and Virgin Galactic are at the forefront, outlining comprehensive plans for diverse forms of commercial space travel. Aspiring space tourists will soon have three options to choose from suborbital space tourism, orbital space tourism, or lunar space tourism. Suborbital space flights aim to breach the boundary of space without completing a full orbit. These spacecraft travel at modest speeds, skimming the edge of the atmosphere before descending back to Earth once the engines power down. Suborbital space tourists reach heights of about 100 kilometers, relishing a fleeting few minutes in space. During the descent, they experience exhilarating moments of weightlessness as the spacecraft freefalls. Currently, the suborbital space tourism market is fiercely contested by two major players, Virgin Galactic, which went public in 2019, and Blue Origin, Jeff Bezos' private space venture. Tickets for Virgin Galactic's suborbital space flights are available at $450,000, granting passengers a 90-minute spaceflight experience. On the other hand, orbital space flights soar to altitudes surpassing 400 kilometers, allowing orbital space tourists to spend several days or even over a week in space. These spacecraft are steered on trajectories to sustain at least one complete orbit, attaining the necessary velocity to maintain this course. Given the increased duration, speed, and distance covered, orbital space flights come with a significantly higher price tag. For instance, SpaceX's September 2021 orbital space flight purportedly charged each of its four passengers a staggering $50 million per ticket. Historically, orbital space tourism has been largely limited to sporadic trips to the International Space Station via Russia Soyuz spacecraft. However, the entry of new companies into the market is expanding the accessibility of orbital space tourism. Lunar space tourism ventures toward complete lunar voyages utilizing specialized spacecraft designed for the moon. Although no lunar space tourism flights have been launched, plans have been unveiled to commence lunar tourism between 2024 and 2043, involving lunar surface expeditions or orbit around the moon. In 2021, SpaceX introduced the groundbreaking Dear Moon project, 
set to pioneer the inaugural Lunar Space Tourism Mission. The Dear Moon Project is an exciting blend of lunar tourism and art, dreamt up and funded by Japanese billionaire Yusaku Mizawa. Picture this, a SpaceX Starship spaceship on a private mission, looping once around the moon. Mizawa's leading the pack, joined by eight other civilians, and maybe a couple of crew members might tag along. The whole idea took flight in September 2018 and is scheduled to launch soon. Plus, they're aiming for a six-day spin around the moon, offering eight lucky passengers the ride of a lifetime, all on the house, thanks to Mezawa. He's counting on this space escapade to spark some creative magic among the crew. The plan? Take the art inspired by this cosmic journey and showcase it back on Earth, spreading vibes of peace worldwide. The space economy encompasses a spectrum of activities and resource utilization in space, generating value and benefits for humanity. It encompasses both public and private sectors involved in developing, delivering, and utilizing space-related outputs, products, services, and scientific insights derived from space research. While space tourism is a subset of the broader space industry, it's anticipated to undergo exponential growth in the forthcoming decades. The realm of space tourism has transitioned from a distant dream to a tangible reality. Although the cost of a ticket remains out of reach for many, Ongoing innovations promise a gradual reduction in prices, aiming to make this celestial journey more accessible and cost-effective. Driven by significant technological strides and a surging interest in accessing space, the space tourism market is experiencing unprecedented expansion and acceleration growth rates. And two years ago, the global space tourism market was valued at $598 million, witnessing the dominance of the commercial space tourism sector, which claimed a commanding 56.7% market share. Thirteen commercial spaceflight missions took flight, spearheaded by entities like Virgin Galactic, Blue Origin, SpaceX, and NASA. These missions transported non-astronaut individuals into space and safely returned them to Earth after their allotted time in orbit. According to a Grandview research report, the global space tourism market hit a value of $695.1 million in 2022 and is set to soar, expecting a compound annual growth rate CAGR, of 40.2% from 2023 to 2030. In North America, the space tourism scene is anticipated to skyrocket, boasting a CAGR of 46.5% from 2024 to 2029. By 2029, revenue in this region could hit nearly $993.95 million. Back in 2022, North America already held a lion's share of the market, clocking in at over 38%. While the specifics on individual country shares aren't detailed in the Grand View Research Report, it's clear that the U.S. is leading the charge in North America. In 2021 alone, its space tourism market was valued at $191.6 million. Factors such as technological advancements, burgeoning interest in space exploration, and intensified focus on research and development activities are pivotal drivers propelling market growth. The scope of space tourism transcends mere joyrides to space, as orbital space flights entail extended stays beyond Earth's confines. While the International Space Station stands as the solitary habitable structure in space, recent developments are steering us towards a broader horizon. In 2019, designs for Voyager Station, the inaugural space hotel, were unveiled by the Gateway Foundation. Now under the management of Orbital Assembly Corporation, this vision project has evolved, expanding to include two distinct space stations dedicated to accommodating tourists. Voyager Station, the original blueprint, and the newly conceptualized Pioneer Station. Voyager Station is slated for a 2027 launch and will house an estimated 400 tourists, while Pioneer Station, set to open three years earlier, will accommodate a smaller group of 28 individuals. While the International Space Station serves primarily as a hub for work and research, Orbital Assembly's Space Hotel fills a unique niche by offering a destination for space tourists. Although formal collaborations between Orbital Assembly and key spaceflight companies like Virgin Galactic, Blue Origin, and Elon Musk's SpaceX haven't been announced publicly, 
such partnerships are anticipated. The trajectory of space tourism appears poised for continued growth, setting the stage for heightened competition among private space entities vying for leadership roles. The substantial economic impact of private space tourism is undeniable. While currently a subset of the broader space economy, its evolution is set to redefine the industry in the forthcoming decades. Forecasts suggest the evolution of the space tourism industry over the next decade, marked by reduced entry barriers, intensified competition, lowered costs, and ultimately, affordable space travel for a broader demographic. The future of space tourism holds the potential to exert a positive influence on various socio-economic facets on Earth, generating employment opportunities, enlightening citizens about space, and stimulating innovation within the space economy. As space tourism grows, experts predict it might become more than ticket sales. Like luxury cruises, future space trips could feature multiple restaurants and entertainment. Imagine space shuttles evolving into mini hotels, offering not just travel but a whole vacation experience, with dining and leisure options, making the journey itself a destination. This is all speculation for now, but it's an exciting possibility for the future of space travel. And that's a wrap. Do you think space tourism deserves this kind of money? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more.